Someone will taste defeat for the first time. Will it be Marku or Prodan? Lots of movement here from Marku. Not often to put his feet that uh, foot on the gas and let his hands go. Prodan looking the stronger here. Looking the more confident. Back in Marku into the corner. So he's got, got to let his hands go. Marku doing a good job defensively to block those shots. Yeah, a good exit out of the corner. Well, Marku not certainly pushing the pace. Doesn't look like a man intent on going for a knockout. No, and that, that, that's well, good work from Prodan there. Landed the short right hand. But back come Marku. Some brilliant boxing there. He spun him around as well. No, for me, I, I, I think Marku has felt that he's not been able to hurt. Oh, big over and right there from Marku. That was a good shot, but right Prodan on the took it well. Prodan took it well. He's just, no, he must be feeling the pace because I'm surprised that he's not going through, through the gears unless there's an, an injury to the hands. Talked a very good game that he was going to, you know, get this fight stopped within six. Good jab from Prodan. Minute to go. First fight on our five part. Oh, left to go. Outer left from Marku as Prodan waves him in. Let's see if we get into a little phone booth fight here down the stretch. Nice counter jab. Good right to the body from Prodan. Needs to follow it back with the left hook to the head. Oh, lovely short right uppercut from Marku. A smile from Prodan. Marku trying to clean the airways and eats a left from Prodan. Shot. Brought his feet in there. And there you go, look, Marku feels he's done enough, but he's felt the pace of this, yeah, without a doubt. The crowd saying, keep it to yourself, buddy. You promised a KO, don't dance. So there you have it. It wasn't the flame-throwing fight we had hoped for, Darren, but Marku did show us some skills that perhaps we didn't think he was capable of. No, I mean, uh, box really well, really well behind the jab, Marku. Prodan was trying to close the gap. He did come on strong late. I mean, I, I gave him some of them later rounds. And look, they, they, he really closed the gap on the scorecards, in my opinion, Prodan. Be interested to see how the judges have it. But, you know, you touched on it there when you, you talk a good game, you need to follow it up. And though there was lots of good boxing there from, from Florian Marku, I would have liked to see him step on the gas, let the hands go and try and force that stoppage. But that's not taking anything away from Prodan, who had aspirations himself. That was the beautiful check. Left hook from Florian Marku. Picked his shot so well at times. It was just a lack of pace going through the gears, but the jab was a fantastic shot. It really was. It seemed confident in both corners. I feel like the Koran corner is not quite as confident. Sometimes you fake it till you make it, right? Yeah. Well, that, like that smile you were talking about earlier. It's all about disguising in this game. But he definitely had a good finish to the contest, Prodan. But for me, I think the jab, the boxing, will be enough for, for Marku to get the decision here. David Diamante has the scores. And let's find out who indeed is our winner.
ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds here at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, we go to the judges' scorecards. Matteo Montella, 99 to 91, Prodan. <laughs> Steve Weisfeld, 97, 93, Marku. And Howard Foster scored this contest 96 to 94 for your winner by split decision. He's still undefeated. And the new IBF International Welterweight Champion, the Albanian King, Florian Marku. Well, there you have it. You said you never know, Darren. And I would like to stress, in boxing, you never know. You never know. I mean, the, the second scorecard I don't agree with, but uh, I've just tallied up mine. I was exactly the same uh, as the final scorecard. But contrasting differences on the scorecards there, and you see both both teams here believe they've won. For me, it was just the, 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 the nice, tidy boxing from Marco that nicked the majority of those rounds. But it was a strong finish from Marco, uh, from Prodan. Interesting stuff. Prodan and his team would definitely be calling for a rematch. Well, it's not the big title that he's hoping to get one day, but indeed, the Albanian king has gold around his waist. Florian Marku, the winner in our opening bout here tonight from White Hart Lane.